皆さん、こんにちは。And welcome to Show's Podcast. So, today's story might make a little bit of maybe some of you a little bit、uh, uncomfortable. So, I do want to warn you before I start talking.、Um, it is going to be something related to war, and it also is something that is related to、uh, people's death. Actually, too. So,、um, if you are a person who really would feel uncomfortable with these topics, please avoid listening to today's podcast.、Um, you, can, you can stop listening to this right now. But it is something that I really do want to talk about because、um, I personally do feel that it is important. Although it's something、mm, scary to talk about, it is something that as a Japanese person, I just can't put my eyes away and just ignore it. It is something that I have to. Uh, at some point, I guess, wanted to talk about and state my own opinions on. Now, I believe that、uh, the people who don't want to listen have now left, and the only people who are capable of listening are、um, left now listening. So I will start talking about what today's main topic is. So、um, the other day, I received a DM, which unfortunately I had to delete because I was a little bit scared.、Um, if you're listening to this right now, I'm very sorry that I had to do that. Um, there was a person sending, sending me a whole bunch of pictures. Now, the pictures were the pictures of during the war, World War II, with、uh, Japanese soldiers、uh, basically going around and、uh, killing and、uh, killing, shooting, cutting、uh, innocent people,、uh, lining them up, cutting their heads off. Sometimes it was pictures of、uh, women who were raped. Um, sometimes it was pictures of babies being、um, lynched by adults. And、uh, I don't think I don't have to explain anymore, but、uh, he basically, I don't know if it's a he or she who sent me the pictures, but、uh, the person sent me about eight, eight or nine pictures of these, of such pictures. And、uh, his message was if you're going to be talking about history, how about you talk about this part of history too? Now, on.、Um, I don't, know where, I don't know where I should start, but、uh, first of all,、um, one thing I can say that's very important is that I cannot talk about such topics on YouTube.、Uh, YouTube basically bans these k i n d of topics. I cannot literally post those pictures on my channel, for example. My、um, channel will be disqualified of being monetized, for example. Yeah, and there is a, a chance that my channel could be banned. So, first of all, I cannot、uh, show these.、Um, Pictures and talk about this side of history directly in my channel, absolutely. So that's the first thing I want to say. Secondly,、um, something that I do want to make very, very, very clear is that,、um, of course,、um, no one knows if、um, what, which pictures are real and which pictures are not real. It's very difficult to tell, obviously. Um, it could have been some other group. It could have been a group that has, I don't know,、um, been abandoned from the army, for example. There w a s a lot of people who ran away from the army because they didn't want to fight、um, on the battlefield. There were some groups that left on their own, and there were some people who did terrible things、um, after leaving, for example. Or、um, there were some, some pictures that were、uh, not actually Japanese people sometimes.、Um, the other way around. Is the same too. Some, some people said, oh, these people are these groups or they're from this country, but in the end, it, they were actually Japanese. The other way around happens often too. So no one knows w- if these pictures were actual, actual real in the first place. But still, it is definitely a fact by data, by actual historical records, that Japanese people did a lot. Of terrible things during the world during World War II. This is absolutely true. 100% certain that Japanese soldiers back at that time did terrible things that we today, living today, don't even want to imagine happening. Now, this is absolutely true. So, the second thing I want to say is that I feel very embarrassed. As a Japanese person, that there's so many Japanese people in Japan who don't want to accept this truth. There's a lot of people who still want to linger on to the belief that、uh, Japanese people are the, 
I don't know, respectful, clean, noble people with the hearts of Bushido, you know, that would never do such hideous things. Yeah. If you watch wars of drama or movies, you see soldiers, you know, uh, putting their hands together to the dead bodies of their enemies, you know, and praying for them. Of course, that side might not be a lie, too. Of course, there might have been such people who would pray, you know, for the people who they killed. In the battle because you know not everyone wanted to take part in, in war right and the people who actually get killed on the battlefield those people tend to not have any right to make decisions on how to fight where to go and so on and so forth so i'm pretty sure these people did exist too but also at the same time a very very big number of japanese soldiers did much much terrible things that were what completely the opposite of what Japanese people are proud of like whatever it is Bushido or Omotenashi or you know stuff like that hospitality you know so yeah number two is I want to say it's very I really feel it's very embarrassing that there are a, I shouldn't say a lot a lot is a lie but there are a, a fair amount of people yeah, fair amount of Japanese people who really still believe that they did nothing, Japan did nothing wrong during the World War II. Yeah, I mean, of course, there's a lot of different political beliefs, right, you know, and historical beliefs too. So but I personally feel um, as a person, well, these kind of people who claim the, claim these things that Japanese Japan did not nothing wrong during the war period. These people tend to never have communicated with uh, people overseas outside of Japan before, and that's the reason why they can say such things. They never heard of any other opinions before, and they're not going to listen to any other opinions in the future either. So that's the reason why they're able to say these things with pride, you know. But I. I'm a person who have been communicating with people outside of Japan so many times. I've actually been communicating with people outside of Japan even more than Japanese people themselves, actually. Um, especially after starting working, you know, graduating um, from university and such. So as that kind of person, I really feel it's very, very embarrassing. We should admit uh, what happened in the past. And we should be sorry for what happened all the time always everything all the time war violence from my point of view there is no person who is correct there is no person who was true justice if we started taking each other's lives there there was no right there from my point of view so i'm not saying that one country should always constantly apologize we should always mm, look back in the past together as humans and um, always reflect on the past and always promise with each other that this is something that we should not be doing. You know? Of course, it's very sad that it, war still does happen all over the world, but at least try to, you know. And number three, this is the last thing I wanted to talk about. So I am a person who believes that we should look back at the past, talk about the, the most hideous um, history is a history, you know, most part, most hideous parts of history sometimes too. But at the same time, when we're going to be doing that, whenever we're going to be talking about history, you know, we're going to have a conversation about it. It has to be for the future. Now, the person, I don't know what intention he or she had sending me these pictures to me. Maybe um, he wanted me to say I'm I'm very sorry for what happened or. I, I don't know what his intention, her intention was sending me these pictures. But one thing I can absolutely say is that it's basically um, the people living today, like our kids, like us, we had no power uh, against the people who did these hideous things in the past. Uh, it could be, for example, the Sengoku War period. There were tons of samurai cutting necks off of people and taking to their bosses, you know, even Toyotomi Hideyoshi, for example, invaded Korea and killed so many people in Korea too, and took back parts of their bodies to Japan. That was terrible as well. Um, is but there was there something that we could do about it? Like a few hundred years ago, uh, there is really nothing that the modern Japanese people could have done. Right, we are born today and not in the past, obviously. 
are we going to be constantly blaming people or groups of people who did something bad in the future? For example, um, I have a lot of friends from Germany. Are we going to continue to blame people living in Germany today for what happened in the past? So I don't think that we should just completely forget about the past as if nothing happened and not taking responsibility. That is not the right thing to do. Of course, there are still people, generations that were hurt by the people of the past. And then the people born today, are they not com completely not responsible? That's not true. We have a country. If we have a country, have a nation, the people living today are responsible. What I'm trying to say here is that if we're actually going to be having a conversation about the past, we need to do it for the future. What is the purpose of us picking up such um, the hideous past, the very vicious past, the very scary past, the horror? If we're going to bring, be bringing that back, it needs to be for the future. If it's a discussion of let's try our best, let's create a system so that this never happens again, that, of course, is completely understandable. But if we're going to be picking that up and throwing, at, throwing it at each other, because every country, almost every person, uh, what should I say, not person, um, every nation in this planet, throughout its history, at some point, at some point it has done very cr cruel things to other humans. Yeah. And there are no, I believe there are no people from ancient, if you include ancient times, there are no, no um, nationalities, uh, race, you know, skin color that has done no harm, absolutely no violence to anything, to anyone before in history. That's impossible, right? So we need to all look back in history and try to um, have a conversation, you know, and say, what happened? Well, how can we do, what can we do to not make this happen anymore? Yeah. And of course, when we have this conversation, Japan is responsible for what happened during World War II. But blaming, constantly just blaming and attacking certain people because of such past, wherever you're cutting out and, you know, on putting them, putting it in front of their faces, which part of history doesn't matter. I really think if we're going to have that kind of discussion, it really needs to be for us to build a brighter future. So then everyone, I always say the ultimate goal of my life is to make all Japan lovers dreams come true. So I know that there's a lot of people studying Japanese, willing to come to Japan to travel, study and work, and even train our traditional culture and such. However, I am very afraid that Japan can't make everyone's dreams come true in the future if we keep on going like this because we are facing a lot of social problems, we are losing our traditional culture, and the younger generations who are supposed to be carrying on the good things about Japan are dying because of all the social issues being shoved against them. So I really want to dedicate my life to try to make Japan a better place. I want to try to solve the social problems, preserve and evolve traditional culture, and help out the younger generations so they can have a brighter future. And just like today's topic, by the way, guys, there's a lot of Japanese people who just wants to just put, put a lid over the things that they don't want to talk about. And it happens with everything. You know, again, Japan is living in a collectivist society, a group of society. And um, the, 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 fir the thing that you really don't want to do the most is to cause trouble and to ca cause conflict between people. So there's so many people who just really wants to avoid talking about um, difficult topics in the first place and just believe that it doesn't even exist there. But that's not true, it does exist there. It exists there, including the, the history of the past, including the current social problems. And I just hated that people just, just avoid talking about it, you know, as, as if it doesn't exist. But if you really want to make fu the future a better, um, if you want to build a better future, we can't avoid talking and discussing about these topics, right? So that's the reason why I'm always open and willing to talk about these things, yeah. And anyways, the nearest goal that I have right now to achieve my ultimate goal is to achieve 2 million subscribers by January 2023 on my main channel, so our likes and comments will help to boost my videos to new viewers who have never seen my videos before, it'd be great if you can help me out. Yep. And my third and fourth steps I've already have in mind of making merchandise of our channel and also creating a, um, a stage performance unit together with the Team Lots Ask Show and we are constantly working on that too. So I hope you can look forward to our future plans and videos and such. Yes. 
Okay, everyone, thank you so much. And um, please let me know what you thought in the comments. I know this is a very, very complicated um, topic. And this is just, of course, as I always say, is my opinion. There is not correct or anything. Um, so it'd be great if you could let me know about what you thought. Thank you so much for listening, everyone.